The story of Enoch Nakai is about a Native American who joined the United States Army. At the time, he was a corporal and trying to leave the army to spend some time with his girlfriend, but his request was never approved. He is later stationed at his post with his fellow teammate, Dietl. Enoch has been around this area plenty of times, but this time he smells a strange scent in the air, and by his beliefs, a strange odor normally means that danger is nearby. He can actually smell the sweat of something in the area, and later on says he can hear something in the trees. Then a predator fires upon them but only kills Dietl, while Enoch is able to escape. As he gets a ride from a nearby soldier driving in the area, he gets taken back to base only to run into Major Amblin. A recovery team was able to find the predator's ship and have taken it for further research. Enoch is ordered back to base for a briefing by the Major, and told his request to leave the army was now granted, providing he would not mention what he saw while at his post. Meanwhile, two men are sent to retrieve Dietl's body, but are killed by the Predator. As Enoch leaves the base, the Predator activates the self-destruct device on his ship, and it blows up Cole military base. As Enoch later tries to warn his superiors of what this hunter is capable of, they ignore his warnings, and then a squad of soldiers are killed. Then in one scene, the Predator picks up an automatic rifle, and even uses it on a soldier. This indicates it knows how to operate human weapons. The hunter is then tracked by a helicopter, but it shoots it down, and then fires upon the Major and his men in the area. Near the end of the story, Enoch tracks down the Predator, but walks into a trap. He ends up losing his rifle and runs away. He lures the Predator out by setting the area on fire with a grenade and waits by a trap. When the Predator falls into a hole, it rises up and knocks Enoch to the floor. Then, as the fire ignites the rounds in his gun, it distracts the Predator, giving Enoch enough time to reach for his pistol and fire off three rounds. Now when backup arrives, they scour the area for any bodies, but they find Enoch is alive and holding the head of the Predator. His story is then continued in another comic book where he is haunted by nightmares of his encounter with the Predator, but now he has returned to his homeland and is around family. His grandfather tells him of the time Enoch's great-grandfather came across another hunter many years ago. The native people of the land had signed contracts with the government. This allowed the white men to drill for oil in some areas. But one day, he finds out that they were drilling in some area called Tuwich Mesa, which was a sacred place as it held a lot of history from relatives. He was told by a local man that someone within the tribe signed a contract for them to drill there. As he gathers some of his people to speak with the white men the next day, he sees a shooting star in the sky that night. He has lived there for many years, but this object was different from the rest. When he arrives at the campsite with his few men, they try to discuss the situation, but are pushed away with gunfire. They run away without fighting back, and later that night, the white men at the drilling site get killed by the predator. The next day, one survivor rounds up more men and they attack the native people, assuming they were the ones who killed the men that night. He is then taken hostage, and later on these men are attacked by the predator. The hunter kills off many people here, and as the men shoot back in all directions, one shot lands on the predator's arm. He along with a few others see the predator on a cliff as it roars in pain. But as reinforcements arrive, the predator is outnumbered and disappears. Later on after these events, a native woman brought him a weapon that was picked up during this battle, and a man from an agency came to ask him questions about what he saw. The drilling company then removed all their equipment and to which Mesa was turned into a national park. The story ends with a government agent overhearing this conversation and then shows up to offer Enoch a job because of his past encounter with a predator. Although he would turn down this offer because the government only wanted the predator technology while Enoch just wanted to kill them. Now Enoch Nakai is one of the few surviving characters who has appeared in more than one story along with Detective Schaefer who has also battled the predator in his own story. Enoch Nakai was then brought back in a new comic book story in 2017 called Predator Hunters, where a team of humans who have information on these hunters would work together to fight against the predators on an island. And amongst this team, it would also include Mandy Graves, who survived a battle against a bad blood predator, and also Jaya Soames, who is the great granddaughter of Detective Soames. When all the issues on this comic book are released, I will go over it in a different video. So that was the story of Enoch Nakai. 
If you enjoy this content around the Predator universe, make sure you subscribe to my channel and enable notifications so you know when I upload a video. Thanks for watching. My name is Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video.